My goodness, what's that? I am not a what, but a who. I am Universal Robot UM21. Excuse me, but what year is this? Well, it's 3008, of course. You're joking. I'm a robot. Robots aren't programmed to make jokes. Ah, ah, ah. Are you trying to tell me it's 3008? And what year do you think it is? 2008? Ah, ah, ah. This is how I laugh. This is how I laugh. Oh, no. This is how I laugh. Oh, no. I'm malfunctioning. I need to be rebooted. Just great. And what am I supposed to do? I guess I should try to resurrect this chunk of metal. Thank you for rebooting me. I've been malfunctioning a lot lately. Maybe they should just melt me down. Ah, ah, ah. So I guess the professor was telling the truth. The telephone really is a time machine. That's amazing. Hey, robot. Yes? I'm looking for a man named Tom Scout. Tom Scout. Tom Scout. Tom Scout. Yes, I know one. Not far from here, on the other side of the fence. But I can't get in there, because I lost the key to the gate. Well, then let's look for the key. Heavens, this is a cemetery. Yes, and I am a cemetery robot, UM21. I keep the cemetery clean and perform maintenance. So where can I find Tom Scout? His grave is somewhere over here. Grave? You mean he's dead? This is a cemetery. Everyone here is dead. Except me, of course. I am a robot. Ah, ah, ah. What an interesting development this is. Take me to his grave. Hey, someone has taken all the nameplates from the graves. Everything has been completely messed up. Vandals, vandals, vandals. What are we going to do? We'll never be able to find Tom Scout if we don't find all of the nameplates and put them back into place. Okay, let's search together.
Okay, now everything's back in place. This is Tom Scout's grave. Tom Scout died in 2508. That was 500 years ago. His birth date isn't listed. There doesn't appear to be that much information on him. Maybe this isn't your Tom Scout. I mean, how many Tom Scouts can there have been in the world? How can we check to see if this is my Tom? We can take a look at his pre-death hologram. Hologram? Yes. His grave has been equipped with a pre-death hologram. People record some parting words in a digital epitaph while they are still alive so their friends and family can view them when they visit their graves. But I can't turn this one on. I think it is broken. Let me have a look. Here's the hologram box. Excellent. Now we can view Tom's hologram. Hi, Vera. It's me, Tom. Listen, I understand that you are probably a bit surprised about all of this, but there's nothing to worry about. My mobile phone is a time machine. I'm sure Professor Einbach explained it to you. I knew that you would end up here and listen to this digital epitaph. Listen, I need your help. Someone took some dinosaur eggs from the Jurassic period to a different time. If these eggs are not returned back to their appropriate place and time, I will not be able to return to our proper time. I'll explain it all to you later. Right now, you've got the time machine, so you're the only person capable of finding the eggs. There are a number of different errors in the list of contacts on my phone. The eggs could be in any of these times. Just select an error in the contact list, press OK, and off you go. You should start off by visiting Nostradamus in the 16th century. He'll be waiting for you. I'm sure you'll be able to take care of all of this, and we'll see each other soon. Was that your Tom? Yes, but it's just delirious gibberish. What makes you say that? It seems quite simple. In order to see Tom, you need to find the stolen dinosaur eggs and return them to the Jurassic period. Piece of cake, right? I think it would be best to return to 2008 and get Professor Einbach to explain everything. Connecting to Laboratory 2008. Connection error. The number you are trying to reach is either switched off or outside of the coverage area. Figures. Okay, we'll follow Tom's instructions and call Nostradamus. Connecting to Nostradamus. 